And I thought yep. we'd break a uh, convention here. We normally do this later in the show, but there's oh, yeah. been so many great ones coming in. Which one? But I do want to do a bit of Upset Andy. Oh. But before we get to it, mm-hmm. I have a live Upset Andy that happened. Um, <laughs> was at the park, was playing with the kids, and someone's timer went off yep. on their phone. And we have you a live demonstration here. I've set my timer up to go off um, in five seconds. So okay. it's a bit of this. And you could hear it going off. Oh. That guy. Yeah. You know that timer? Yeah, yeah. So this was going off mm. in someone's pocket. Right. And I was like, hmm, all right, someone's time is up. That's fine. I knew it wasn't mine. I hadn't set a timer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would need right? that And it up. just <laughs> kept going, right? And then everyone was pretty fine with it except for one lady <laughs> who was looking around going, Hmm. Yeah, that's me. Just wait. <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely right? me. Just and everyone else was going about their business, yeah. and then I was watching Lady going, "This is wonderful. She <laughs> is acting like, like even with it now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having problems with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm leaving it on. Just like, so I think someone's time is going off, <laughs> right? Which is like, even as you say it, you know, it's not helpful. You just want it to stop for you. It's like, Sorry, yeah, someone's, is someone's timer on? And it was like, no. <laughs> and it did seem to be emanating from perhaps one guy. <laughs> yeah. like, in, it's, <laughs> like she'd honed in on this guy and then you could just see her staring at him. Everyone take your phones out and hold yeah. them above your head. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I think someone's timer's going off, looking at the guy. And she goes, I think your timer's going off. And he goes, no, I haven't set a timer. And she goes, well, it sounds like it's coming from your pocket because... Well, sorry, I, I haven't set a timer. Did you just, could you check? <laughs> Did he check? <laughs> like, it's not my timer. And she was like, I've turned it off for you now. And then she was like, check, because it's someone's is on. <laughs> it was like, but it's it, but but it's okay. Like it, it was okay, a, yeah. she was acting Life like someone's on. someone's water mains had been hit. Like we <laughs> yeah, exactly there's a gas we leak. Have to fix this. <laughs> we need to fix We it. have to fix this, but it really and I was just like, oh, this would be Ando for sure. Yeah. Just an un- Attended to timer, timer. is yeah. a fer- ferociously uh, no, no, upsetting event for me. No place in life for that for me. <laughs> no, that for and me. I just love that I was just somehow at the park with seven mm. or eight other people who were like we're at the kids' playground. Seven or eight other people who were just happy to. That's all right. You can just operate with a timer going up in the background. <laughs> not my timer. Not my concern. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not mine. <laughs> it was mine. Everything is neat and practical Cause that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy I had one during the week that Beck told me to get over Yep She bought a hand wash soap for the kitchen yep. And when she it, it, it does have a kind of a lag on it When she hits the, the pump pack <laughs> She kind of gets the, the start of the soap and the rest drips <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and yeah, I just said, oh, so it's got a bad prostate. It's got a bad prostate. Yes, and I just said, would you would you mind completing the, the push? <laughs> and she, what? This is the kind of this is the kind of this is the kind of shit that Married at First Sight gets a whole episode out of. <laughs> and she's like, what? It's like, well, just it, it's dripping and like yes. leaving a cake of soap that I clean up, you know, most days. She's like, that's right, it's just soap. Like soap's clean. Yeah, actually, like, what you should do is keep collecting it there, and then at the end <laughs> you'll have a you'll have a free little, little cake, cake. <laughs> that you can use as another hand wash. Anyway, so yeah, so she, she's she's pulling out, she's withdrawing too quickly, yeah, and it's still going. Yeah, she's still she, gushing. Anyway, she humbly declined. <laughs> <laughs> Respectful <laughs> decline, sir. Respectful decline. Uh, hey, what do you got? Your request. Who's there? Okay, uh, Jess, here we go. <laughs> Jess, ahoy to you. Ahoy. What have you got to upset Andy? Um, I have a few, but the one I um, have today is that when I um, use dental floss, you know how it has the little silver thing to cut the dental floss into strips? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, mine broke off. And so I was using scissors to cut strips (laughs) every night. And then I lost my scissors. Yeah. So what do you do now? Well, now I just pull it and then use it. And then the next night, pull a bit more. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, so you've got a long <laughs> tail of years <laughs> yeah. dental floss, <laughs> floss like a, like like you know when you do ice core drilling and you have a history of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got, you've got a like a, you've got a your history food. of your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Lamb. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was last Thursday. <laughs> I can see that. And just after a while, mm. you would have the thought: Look, if I just wash this thing and wind it up again. <laughs> I didn't have that thought, but now I do. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I mean, time going to buy new dental floss. Uh, Jesse, yeah, that, would, in the that, dishwasher. that would bother me. <laughs> exactly. uh, that would absolutely bother me. I'm going to give that a peri peri hot. That's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if the soap, if a dribbly soap bothered it, though. An uh, unwound floss. All right. Thank you, Jess. Chris, what have you got for us, mate? Uh, this one's from my wife. Uh, she, when she creates an eye calendar event on her phone, she will put okay. the uh, sorry, time. I'll stop. In... Sorry, Chris. I'll always, I'm going to stop you already. I know it'll upset Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to do with the improper use of iCal? Uh, yes. Will, yes. You, this, there's no way what you're about to say won't upset Andy. <laughs> sorry, well, I interrupted. Gonna, go for it. It's going to go really worse okay. from here. When she creates an eye calendar event, she puts the time in the title and the time <laughs> does not correspond with the actual <laughs> event below. He's punctual. He's punctual. He's, I've never. I would hate to see the time in the title, even if it is correct. Yep. But the time in the title when it's not corresponding, that would so, be so explosion. It, lo- that is- it, logs it, it logs it as like a 9am and she's like, you know, dinner with Felix 7.30 as the title. <laughs> oh, nah. That's grounds for I'm divorce. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad, but I'll tell you what I do all the time, Chris, is I will put it as an all-day event and then write the time. Like, you know, I'll put it as an all-day event and be like, you know, 9 o'clock, catch up with Fitz. I think it's a fast and loose thing. When you've got kids, you don't have time to change the time in the the calendar. You do. I'll often have eight. confusion. I'll have eight things, eight things that are an all-day event, (laughs) and they'll have the time written next to them in the title because I get... Bored and frustrated, flipping around that little dial. Oh, is it AM? Is it PM? It is Which, finicky. It is finicky. It's finicky, Jack. It's finicky. Well, there's put. no time. <laughs> I, don't time to, I don't have time for the time. I'll just type it in. Well, Make one, them all, one all day. Thing I will say about calendars, iCal particularly, is it's, it, it seems <laughs> yeah, to have been. A, this is an improvement. No, it seems to have been pretty much the same software since about 2009. Yep. And it's still having to think so much when you put an event in. Has anyone realised that when you're even trying to add an event or anything, it just takes so long. Everything else got quicker. Maybe mine doesn't do that, but maybe because yours has like 65 things a day. It's just jam-packed <laughs> in there. Because Ando has it probably got one minute, you know, walk to kitchen and then 11.04. I know, know I get this You would like dad. it to have halves. I, I reckon that. you would like it to have 11.04.30 seconds begin making sandwich. <laughs> I, I, I do respect a schedule. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> respect him or a schedule, Leo. <laughs> have you? But, have but you my, ever this done, comes from my dad. Yeah. My dad loves Ica, like loves it. And yeah. and I'll, he rang me one day, and I was driving down the beach. He goes, "Oh, where are you?" And I said, "Oh, I'm just heading down to the beach. Should be there in about twenty minutes." And he's like, "Oh, cool." And then I get off, and when I arrive, a calendar appointment comes up. It's Andy at beach. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes from now. It's like, okay, Dad, yeah, we don't need to tell the whole family. On the whole joint calendar, just just wanted to let everybody know. Seen him. Spotted. (laughs) All right. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Good one, Chris. (laughs) Hugh. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy to you, mate. Ahoy, Huey. What do you got to upset Andy? So, uh, lads, we just moved into a new house and it must be nice. Um, And uh, we've got an air conditioning system that has different zones that equate to different rooms. Mm-hmm. Oh, very um, nice. And uh, at present, the uh, rooms don't equate to the right zones. And so instead oh. of, you know, taking the time and changing the different <laughs> room names, we just turn on, you know, each zone and then walk into the room, see if air conditioning comes <laughs> off, doesn't, go back, try the next room, because you just don't have time to change it. Got, who, Hugh, who has got time to get the air con guy out and sit through the lecture about it's how ridiculous. you program the rooms? You're never going to get that time back. As soon as you said that the, the names don't line up with the rooms yeah. and his yeah. head began, yeah. the, the, the travesty, you would, that would kill you. And in, yeah. anything improperly labelled. Well, yeah, someone had exactly. The, the, the guy that did uh, the, 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 the sound system mm. at the house, one of them was for bedroom and he'd written 
lowercase b, capital E, lowercase, <laughs> lowercase d, and then the red room. And I was oh, boy. <laughs> Gonna need you to come back, Greg. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm, I'm actually away with my family in New Zealand. That's all right. Just looking at Skyscanner. You can get a flight this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could actually, you could be at the house with a good run by eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Hugh, uh, Alyssa. Oh. Right, wrap this up for us. <laughs> ahoy, boys! What a batch! Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy Alyssa! You. What have you got for Ando? So I normally pride myself on being very fast and loose, like Hamish. Mm. But unfortunately, I've had to switch to the other side. Good. Welcome. So I was talking to <laughs> my boyfriend room. the other day. Everything's ordered. <laughs> <laughs> the maximum <laughs> amount of room. Certainly, you certainly won't <laughs> step on anything on your way in. Well, if, if it is full, you can know that there couldn't have possibly been more room. <laughs> <laughs> so unfort- I was talking to my boyfriend the other day, and we don't live together yet. And he was describing a problem he was having in regards to posters. He has a lot in his room. <laughs> and they started to curl at the edges. Yep. So I was suggesting, you know, the usual nice ideas as framing them or, you know, re-blue tacking them, anything. But he assured me, no need, because he decided to staple the corners to the wall. <laughs> so it was no longer fault. There you go. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Not a bad, not a bad way to put a, put a poster on. No, no. I think it is a bad <laughs> way. It's, it's, it's horrific. I mean, it, I mean, your blue tack can damage your paint anyway. So if you've, if you've accepted that you're damaging the wall, mm. would you blue tack something to the wall? And I don't feel like you blue tack something no, to the wall. No, blue, something, blue tack something to the wall. Okay, yeah. cool Because you, Andy, would know the proper way to get the blue tack. Just, just once a year on a wild night. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Might wake up in the morning and be like, what did I do? I was like, oh my God. Oh my, look at that Pearl Jam poster. Was, how did that get up there? Everything is neat and practical because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. The only opener on radio or podcast across the whole broadcast landscape that dares to ask a question <laughs> in the opener. The whole segment is based on what if it wasn't. Mm. Fascinating concept. Let's see if we can upset Andy. And there's just, I mean, the flood is seemingly endless. You think they're going to dry up, mm. but there are many opportunities in this world where people notice things that would perhaps upset your preference for efficiency and order. And and. You might think that I might change my way to become more fast and loose, but no, I yeah. think in my older age, it's getting worse. I understand. So, I understand. Um, Chris, 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 Chris ahoy, boys. Oh, hey, Chris. Oh, very good, mate. What have you got for Ando? Uh, so, I was talking to my buddy the other day who's just got into golf this summer. Mm-hmm. And um, Welcome. after a couple of, couple of rounds, when it gets a bit too hot, he'll just take his shirt off and play the rest of the game with no shirt on. <laughs> As far as I know, that's a okay, and I'd like. I haven't played yet, but I'd like to be involved in a sport where that's fine. I it does that doesn't upset me, Ham. I know you th- think that you'd mind. No, no, well, I'm, I'm interested in the etiquette. The well, the yeah, etiqu- the etiquette sort of got me. Well, yeah. I think I think that it's a bit ridiculous that there's the collars, shirts, and uh, sure. and the tuck in. So some clubs allow t-shirt golf, which tuck I tuck in is tuck in a thing. Have to, yep, yeah, tuck in. <laughs> some clubs, for instance, tuck in. So I can't <laughs> wear an untucked. Polo. You can't wear an you, you, <laughs> No deduction. No yeah, attention. what am I going to What's going to happen to A me? number of clubs you can't wear black socks, for instance. You have to have Ooh. white socks. Some yes, I can. And then <laughs> you just won't be allowed to play. It's weird. <laughs> it's stupid. Hence, I would love to see someone <laughs> just shirtless. going down the tent without a top on uh, and, and just having a great time. So I know you would think. It would would black point. socks upset you, Andy, if I turned up with them un- untucked polo and black socks? God, I wouldn't sound upset. Like a, sound like a biker. <laughs> it wouldn't upset me. <laughs> but, but, so Royal Melbourne is probably yeah. the most famous golf course in Australia, and it's also one of the most famous golf courses in the world. They've recently allowed black socks, but there's an attachment to an asterisk. Black socks, if it's no in... Shirt. <laughs> like socks, mankini. <laughs> no. If it's in keeping with the shoe, 
that the golfer chooses. So, no crocs. Actually, so I, I guess they're saying if you're wearing a black shoe, you're allowed black socks. I don't quite understand the rule, but Oof. apparently. All right, yeah. Chris, good one. I mean, I back it, and when I get out there and start swinging the sticks with Ando, yeah. I will make sure to do at least a whole topless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Uh, Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell, upset Andy, please. Hoy boys, and number six, and happy birthday to you, Andy. No need. Um, so basically, uh, if I'm about to leave my house and I don't already have a pair of shoes on my feet, I usually keep a pair of thongs by the front door. And, you know, as a lead, a very busy lifestyle and I'm very much fast and loose like Hamish. Uh, on the odd occasion when I go to put my thongs on, the stem of the thong will land in between my second and third toe <laughs> instead of my first and second toe as yep. it normally should. And, you know, when this happens, I just carry about wherever I'm going. No, with my no. Toes in the, in the no, no, that's, that's Perry <laughs> very time for me. That, no time, Mitchell. Who's got time to back it? Can't oh, progress exactly. in life if you're going to spend the whole time backing up and fixing your feet. <laughs> Keep yeah. walking, brother. Yeah, a good, right. good one, Mitchell. No, that, that would absolutely upset me. And <laughs> even if I saw it, I don't think I'd be able to hang with you socially <laughs> until you but, fixed it. Mitchell, we, 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 had a, we had a classic upset Andy one time about a guy that liked to go surfing before going to work and he'd learned to tolerate sand in his socks <laughs> rather than go to the effort of like washing and drying his feet after a surf. Mm. And I think this is the same thing. You can train your body mm. to just keep moving. Exactly. Is your second toe big? Uh, yes, it is. Bigger than average. Okay. Congrats so- on the SP. <laughs> But, you know, eventually you get used to it. And after a couple of months, you go, well, oh, oh, mate, maybe. you're talking, you I get it. I hear you, mate. I, you get used to them, but still, congrats on the ST. So I imagine <laughs> I imagine it's an easier adjustment for him to make because his second toe is like a, uh, like a big toe. Like a, like a backup big toe, thumb. you reckon? <laughs> Basically, you're right. <laughs> nice, Mitchell. Thank nice. You, Mitchell. Um, Kendall, Kendall, have you got something to upset Andy? I do. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy to you. Ahoy. So this is something my mum does that drives me insane. So she's usually the family photographer at events and such. And when she goes back through the photos, uh, she'll zoom in on them and take a screenshot of the photo instead of cropping it or just sending the regular one to us. Gotcha. This would, be, oh, this yeah. would annoy Andy. So yeah. she's got then several of the same photo at various levels of zoom in her camera roll. She's easily doubled her camera roll. Um, and it also has like the share or delete button at the bottom. It has the time and the battery percentage at the top. <laughs> no. Uh, it's bad. No, 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 no. And he's gasping for it. <laughs> Even for if I'm here. screenshotting a ticket to give to You'll Hamish or Jack, it. I'll crop it nicely. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing that... Anything involving edges or corners, <laughs> if it's not done correctly, consider it upsetting, Andy. And what? the other thing that... It worries me about your mum's phone. Yes, we're all worried. <laughs> <laughs> is I don't like excess photos in there. And so... Storage. I'll, not just so much for storage. I just want it to be a, a clean representation mm. of what I've been up to. So I will... <laughs> 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 Go back through. So you don't like a short event having nine photos and a long event having one. I'll go back through and clean out unnecessary photos once every two days. Thrilling. Yeah. So, like, in memories, you know, memories come up. Yeah. I'm never yeah. getting a bad one. You don't yeah. get an odd memory. Yeah, no. they're all absolute keepers. Yeah. <laughs> With an even weighting and a clean representation <laughs> of what you feel. <laughs> you don't have to. That's, oh, why, really that's why Beck annoys the hell of me because their generation yep. just takes heaps of photos. So she'll take, like, 100 photos of the same thing and never so all her out. memories are like receipts. Yeah. Um, the the, the wall even, where you parked your car. Even when she's just trying to get the food or like so for Instagram yeah. or something, she just takes, there'll be like a thousand shots of an avocado, which I just, just gives me the irrits. Mm-hmm. But, but then when I asked her, could she download the Sonos app so she could change the music at home rather than ask me, she said, I don't have room. Phone is right, mate. He uh, is smart, Beck. Uh, well done. Okay, David, have you got something to upset Andy or hoy? Ahoy, gentlemen. Ahoy. Uh, so my upset Andy, I, I have five uh, big windows at the front of my house, each with Venetian blinds, mm-hmm. with the loop where you, you yank on the loop and the blinds either turn inwards or outwards. Yes. Yep. I just walk along at night time, grabbing the whichever bit of the loop I see, yank on it and hope <laughs> they turn the same way. They never do. <laughs> so I just leave them either turning uh, inwards or outwards. No. 
So you've got up, up, down, up, down, or down, down, up, down, up. Yep. Yeah. And you've never had exactly. them all going the one way. No, I figure it's like playing pokies. Eventually, yes. I'll get them all the right way. Yes. And I'll win yeah. Have you got close before? Have you got, knock have on you got, door. And, and, <laughs> we've been waiting across the street for two years. Here's a hamper. <laughs> have you got down, 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 down before and come down to, you know, had the final shot and, and fluffed no. it? Or you, no, no. No, it's That's... usually sort of one after the other. It's usually sort of three to two. In yeah. To out. David, no, if, no if, pattern. if you'd invited me around for a drink, and we would finish the second beer and, and you went, hey, do you want another one? And you left the room. I'd correct that <laughs> while you were outside of the room, I think. And you and would then, turn and go, did you fix the blind? <laughs> <laughs> there would be an eerie in the, the room. room. <laughs> um, oh, Love thank it. you, David. Right. Marlene, ahoy to you. Oh, boys. Um, so I like to read, but instead of reading books from start to finish, sometimes I open um, it up to a random page and read that chapter. And then once I've read all the chapters, I try and figure out what the story is. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. You'll get it. Marlene, no, I hate that. No, who has time for books? <laughs> no one's got time for bookmarks. You never, yeah, you lose them. I hate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Ando, mm -hmm. why not? Why? I mean, we have so many good ones coming in every single week. <sighs> it just feels, just feels <laughs> like sometimes you just have to upset your best mate. Everything is neat and practical Because that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy! <laughs> what I've, a always great this. <laughs> I've always felt like, I'm not sure if you felt this about the opener, yeah. But at the end where it goes, nah, 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 that's me just going, nah, 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 yeah, nah, right. nah, nah. No, I, I always like it as an opener because I think it was meant to be for one day. And so I didn't put um, too much effort into it. And it, it's actually the opener for the opposite. Yeah. And then it just sort of finishes on, but imagine not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Which, all right. Anyway. A lot of people writing in all the time, Ando, to upset Andy. We collate the best. The producers collate the best. They hook them up on the line. There now has to be a bit of a process. What I love about this so much is um, between sort of myself, Carly, um, multi-platform Mike, mm. there's been so many that have come through that you're like, we know it's not going to have the same effect re-upsetting you. Like yep. once you've been stung, that's like a fresh wound. <laughs> And it, you, then you get a bit of scar tissue over it. So yeah. it's hard to go back and re-upset you. But you would think it would get harder and harder to find them. It actually seems to be getting, like, just more and more original ones <laughs> come in. I just feel like we rarely go over the same spot twice. But Gabby. Oh, Gabby, oh, ahoy. Ahoy. Ahoy, Gabby. Ahoy. What have you got to upset Andy? So this is one that my husband does. When he buys a slab of beer and he gets, like, the four six-packs in the cardboard dividers, mm -hmm. like a cut and dry, he will put them all in the fridge and then take a beer from all different six packs instead of just finishing one six pack off. And he's left. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> got him. I also hate. Absolutely got him. I, look, to be honest, don't really like putting them in the fridge in the with cardboard. The cardboard. Yes, Sandy would I not will, like. I will, I, I, <laughs> I, will, I will take. We're them, on. I will, We're on. I will take them out of the cardboard if. So not, this, is ba this is basically like, can I go free, officer? No. In fact, I've got more crimes to charge you with. <laughs> but the other one is, say if you're use, if you're a can of beer and they've got the uh, the, the, the collection, the, 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 I don't know what you call it, it keeps them together at the top. A plastic thing sometimes. The, yeah, the plastic clasps at the top of them. I very much hate those ones because they stick out higher like... It looks. Oh, they ruin the level. It ruins the level, uh, and you can't get anything uh, alongside. Can, uh, can we dig a little deep on this for a second? Is the reason you don't like the cardboard divider on the stubbies going into the fridge is because that's the that's the divider telling you how to run the rules of the <laughs> no. fridge, is, and no, it's going. You must put it in a three by two formation. Whereas I know the Andy I know would go. Sure, I might if that's the most appropriate <laughs> formation. But I also I might like a six by one <laughs> if I need to if I need to move it around. As you know, you've been in my fridge before. I like having rows of different beers, mm -hmm. and so you you, you like to you, merchandise it properly. You, you want to make sure that they're in the same. And the other part is when you want a beer, mm -hmm. you want it quick. 
And to, to don't have time to. I, I'd prefer get it to get, out of the cardboard. When I get back and I get them all unpacked, I know that the last thing. Or if I'm tired, I want a beer. You don't need any extra stuff. You want to get wrestle to a cardboard <laughs> gatekeeper? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Certainly got me, Gabby. Well done. Really good, Gabby. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Ahoy, Billy. Ahoy, boys. How's it going? Yeah, good, Billy. Good, mate. Um, what have you got, friend? Up. Well, my mate from work came into work the other day. He's got a um, brand new iPhone 13 Pro, the mm-hmm. big one. Mm-hmm. Must be nice. Yeah, fancy. Must be nice. Mm. And he bought um, a new screen protector online, mm. bought it for an iPhone 12. Mm. So it's got about a full centimetre, <laughs> um, <laughs> a full centimetre gap around the whole um, screen protector, and he just runs with it. I hate it. I really hate <laughs> More it. More than yeah. enough, I would say. I mean, any, uh, I, view a, I mean, I view a case as sometimes I, overkill, let I, alone a screen protector. A screen protector is like... You know, it's like when you see the kids in under five's footy that wear mouth guards. You're like, oh, okay, well, geez, I mean, good to be safe, but they're all baby teach. <laughs> they um, yes, Billy, he, he, here's the thing for me: I don't like a screen protector. I know it sounds. It, I know it should be no, in I my know, wheelhouse. But, uh, when you think about it, people will know why Andy doesn't like it. It gets dusty. <laughs> there's imperfections in the yeah. plastic. It yeah. can even, even though, of course, Andy would. Sp- Smooth it on with a razor yeah. to avoid air bubbles. <laughs> it just, Over time, the edges, the stickiness of the edges, will gather microscopic bits of dust that will that are a middle finger to Andy every screen. time he looks at his phone. <laughs> screen sensitivity as well could be compromised. Yep. All those <laughs> yeah. things. So, he, he, putting one on, no thanks. But putting the wrong one on mm. just disgusts me. And yeah. Jack, hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Billy. <laughs> and Bye, uh, Billy. Raw, raw dog you, Billy. all the way. Um, Stephanie, the Stephanie, ahoy. What have you got to upset Ando? Ahoy, boys. Happy uh, birthday, Andy. No need. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, <laughs> ahoy to you. Ahoy. Um, so basically, part one of this is that I'm really lazy and I leave heaps of old drinks in my car. So I have like old half-filled bottles of Pepsi, Sprite, orange juice, old coffees. Never know when it could I come in handy. <laughs> and I haven't filled my windscreen wiper since I first got my license. <laughs> So I'll just use, like, the Coke Zero and my old coffees to clean my windscreen. <laughs> An absolute a drip tray of fluids to and, clean. And my car, is, my car is white, so in summer I've got, like, a plethora of colours at the front. <laughs> <laughs> just gross. But does it do the job? Does it do the job? No, it doesn't do the job. <laughs> bet it does. <laughs> Andy, it certainly does do the job. It does. The job. I bet it does. Because isn't sticky. it, like, you're meant to, like, you're meant to clean, like, your wedding ring and stuff or your engagement ring, leave it in Coke. Yeah, glasses are the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Just like a big diamond. All and right. lo and behold, <laughs> clean as windscreen in town. Could be a life hack. Go to Steph. Holly, ahoy. Oh, ahoy, Holly. Ahoy, Holly. What have you got to upset Andy? Ahoy. Ahoy to you. My upset, Andy, is that at my parents' house, they've got about three quarters of their fence line is a picket fence. Mm-hmm. And so the picket fence goes big picket, little picket, big picket, little picket. Oh, no. so, about, so far, so, so far, can I say, Holly, that's a picket pattern that pleases Andy. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw, I saw Andy nod, like lulled into almost like a hypnosis of, yeah, this is good, big picket, little picket. Big, yeah. That's the way the suburbs are meant to be, big picket, little um, picket. But then to upset you, about halfway through, no. the fence are messed up and it goes big picket, big picket. No. And then back to the pattern of little picket, big picket, little picket, big picket. Is it picket. in a central spot? <laughs> like, could it it's, possibly be, if it was dead centre, it could possibly, if the it property, could be a feature. It could be a feature. Could it double be a remnant? Big no, it's not. It's literally like three quarters of the way through the fence, so it's not in like a oh. good place for it to make sense. Uh, it, have you chosen to put your letterbox there to like... Yeah. To not- no, and it's one of those things that when you notice it, you can't unnotice it. Oh, I'd notice it. <laughs> or, or is the big picket, is the big, are we talking tall picket but same width? Or is the big yeah, picket? Yeah, so they're all the same width, oh, but so one they could tall, have put a small one. short, tall, short. Yep, so they could have put a shorter one there, Ando. They just chose not no, to. No, it's not three in a row. I think it's only two in a row. No, I'm just saying they. it, it wasn't like they had to make up the space with a big picket, the width. No. They could have put a, a, a yeah. shorter picket yeah. with the yeah. same width. It's not even a width issue. And am I right in saying it's two pickets, not three in a row? Yeah. So it, So you can't it, replace it no. easily. No. It's replaced no, the whole if thing. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're, you're to right. replace <laughs> it, you'd have to rip out half of the fence well, yeah. to then start the pattern again. All right. Well, you should do it. 
<laughs> that is the only way out of this. Um, very quickly, James. James, ahoy. ahoy James. Last one. Upset, ahoy, Andy. Ahoy, lads. Oh. Um, this is something I want to stress my partner does. I do not partake in any fast and loose action. Good man. There is, <laughs> you're, one, you're one with me, mate. I look forward to having a beer with a coaster. <laughs> I look forward to some point. I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to having a beer with your partner because they sound like they've got a lot of spare time because they're not wasting their life with procedures. <laughs> oh, so this is something. So, you know, like those thin plastic bottles that you'd usually find at like a servo, kind of like a pump bottle you know, anything you're going to find in like a fridge in like a supermarket or something like, like that. Like a water bottle? Yeah, like a water bottle. Yeah, yeah, essentially. So when they go to take a drink out of the water bottle, they will squeeze the bottle oh, yeah. to then increase the flow of water. Yeah. But then Time's we'll put the lid oh, straight no. back on <laughs> yep. and not let the bottle return back to the water. Oh. Why would, we? Why would uh, we let yeah. it return, James, to its shape? Because next time he's going to squeeze it again. So oh. they're really, really, you guys should love this because they're saving their spot of the squeeze. There is, no, you there ha- is a kicker here, yeah. though. Okay. When the bottle gets placed back on the bench, for example, it can't stand upright. <laughs> so then the bottle will lay on its side. Yeah, Terrible. It's, not going, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Like, who oh. cares? The, the thing standing the bottle up, there's no rule that says the bottle has to be in perfect. It's not the international bottle show. It doesn't have to be in a presentable <laughs> position at all times. Gravity is really the thing sticking it to the bench. Who cares if it's having a sleep or standing to attention? <laughs> you can still pick it up next time you need it. Uh, James, I hate that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm with you. I feel your pain, buddy. <laughs> oh. Ando, mm-hmm. ready to have you hat spun around fast and <laughs> steam come out your ears. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Everything is neat and practical because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. Can I, can I launch my own one just yep. quickly? What have you been doing? When I got back from uh, our overseas break, yep. my protest, protest sorry, um, the, for four breaks, we don't yep. need them. <laughs> um, yep. My computer would not go back to Australian time. Oh, I, I just, found that as well. Let's do the math. No. <laughs> Turn it, we'll just the, look at your wrist. The amount look somewhere of times else for your time. I restarted the thing. <laughs> like, I couldn't do anything. This is what I would do to you if I hacked you. I wouldn't steal your money. I would just do stuff like that. I'd change your iCal around. I'd fiddle with the times. It would be, I would absolutely, I'd Chris Angel you. Yeah, I'd, and then I'd eventually, freak with your mind. If, you, if it was to be a money-making experience, you yeah. could then just send me an email saying, hey, I can fix all that for a million dollars. <laughs> take, take it. I'll give you two. Wow. <laughs> because be nice. this a, a nice just, little incentive for any hackers out there. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Stuff, yeah, that's the that's the trauma. Yeah, it's the trauma. No, um, I understand that. But I mean, to that to the clock situation. I mean, you you have a watch. You have we know you have two clocks on your ovens at night. We know <laughs> yeah. you are flush for clocks. There is one that's very special to you downstairs on the golf simulator. <laughs> so you are flush for clocks. Mm. But it does throw all the iCal out of whack because it thinks you're on a different time zone. Just make everything an all day appointment. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ethan, mm. Ethan, have you got something to upset Ando? Yeah, happy birthday, Andy. No need. <laughs> um, I should probably start off by saying this really does my head in too. I'm like Andy. I Go like um, lots okay. of order. Mm. Um, yeah, so my mum's indicator on her car was broken, and so she took it to the mechanic to get repaired, and he only replaced the right indicator, and he replaced it with an indicator that flashes at twice the speed as the left indicator. Oh, I hate that so <laughs> much. That's okay. That's no. okay. <laughs> that. well, when are you going left and right at the same time? <laughs> you never know. notice. <laughs> but, no, I would hate that so much, Ethan. It just, yeah. I, yeah. It's a sell the car kind of situation or take it to a different <laughs> meta- mechanic. Yeah, if I'm waiting at the intersection for too long, it, rather than just let it flash at such a rapid speed, I'll just stick my right hand out the window. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a bike Go back to horse and cart times. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I remember. I vaguely remember from doing the road test that that's still legal. Yeah, if your blinker's not working, yeah, which you I are was, allowed. I, I'm going to say it isn't because it's not working. <laughs> that's not working to my, <laughs> my favourite my preference. <laughs> uh, Ethan, yeah, that would absolutely uh, shit me to tears. <laughs> nice, so thank you, buddy. Um, um, Beth, Beth, ahoy, Beth. Ahoy, how are you guys going? Very good, Very mate. Good. What have you got uh, for Ando? 
Um, so quite often at work, I do a bit of laminating. Great. Um, so I don't know if you guys have laminated before, but love it. Usually I, I, I had a go at it once. It seemed fairly time consuming. <laughs> yeah. So because I'm fast and loose, I just don't bother lining up the paper with the slip. So when it comes out the other end, when it's fully laminated, I just cut off a bit of piece of paper that sticks out, and then we're good to go. But hang on, you can, there's, there's, then it's not it's not sealed. No, it just sticks what are you, out. Were you ta- you're taking it underwater, mate. It's mostly sealed. <laughs> you just you're cut it s- off and then it's all good. Well, it's not all good because it's not sealed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who cares? It's only a small amount that's not sealed. Yeah. Most of it's sealed. It's it's still it's going to be okay. No important information. It's fine. Uh, it's not fine for me. It's a very, very hot as, on Ando, the scale of upset. You, when are you taking a laminated piece of work, you know, underwater? It mm. The seal doesn't really matter. It's just to give it a bit of longevity. For God's sake, she's got 99% mm. of it done. Cut her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think gets at, it. <laughs> at first, Beth, I thought Andy thought you were just going to say you weren't lining it up properly. And I saw his face change when he realized n- <laughs> not just not square, <laughs> there's a piece hanging out. <laughs> nah, not for me. <laughs> not for me. Thank you, Beth. Get rid of it. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Benjamin, uh, Benjamin, you got Ahoy. something to upset, Ando? Ahoy, mate. Yes, well, look, you know how, uh, you know, jam jars can sometimes be a little bit difficult to open. Mm-hmm. Um, most people would probably, you know, try and find someone strong to give it a go or, or yeah. find a tea towel. What my wife does is, um, well, to release the pressure um, and make it easier to open, she gets a sharp knife and um, stabs the top of the lid. <laughs> and Good trick. <laughs> I tell you what, it, it actually works. But the, the, anno- <laughs> yeah, yeah, the it, annoying thing is your jam goes off after well, that. Exactly. No well, way. well, because she she continues to use the lid like normal, you know, f- turning a blind eye to the fact Awful. that there's a, a Awful. massive hole in it. Ben. Most of the year won't get in. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> lids are to, to stop the air. Li- lids are to tight. stop airflow air and hot. Oh, okay, Ando. So so you haven't completely boarded up the door. You've just got a bouncer. Most <laughs> of the year still won't get in. <laughs> uh, ben, can I recommend to your partner? Yes. Just using the, the knife, just a tap on the side of the uh, the lid. That'll normally break the yeah. seal. Who's Look, got I, time I think, for all these I taps? think we keep her away from knives. I think, you know. Yeah. Uh, Divorce. Know. The thing yeah. is, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're getting at? Sorry, I might have jumped If you're looking to bed. relieve the pressure, Andy's got a solution. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie has got, uh, has got something to upset, Ando. Mm. So far, three from three. Absolutely. It's a hot room. Ahoy, boys. Mm-hmm. Ahoy, 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 Ahoy. Um, so recently we were going away for the weekend and it got to like the Friday afternoon after work and I still hadn't packed yet and I just like couldn't be bothered. So (laughs) I went into the laundry and noticed a load of washing had just come out of the dryer. So I just put that basket straight in the car and hope for the best. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's an odds game. Isn't this isn't this I know this is a this is the peculiarity of So you would go off on holidays with a basket of washing. I don't I'm I'm kind of fine with this, Ham. I I think I think the thing is though, yeah, this is crossed from I think without again, you know, one thing we hate doing is stereotyping, but I think for like my wife would not be able to deal with that. No. But guys, when they go on holidays, like doesn't matter at all. Doesn't really matter. When we we'll anything. So the only problem was I didn't factor into the equation that because um, I am married, a lot of the stuff ended up being my husband's <laughs> yeah, stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. Do, I'm not saying I would. I would do it. I wouldn't want to do it. But I'm just saying it, it's to me. I mean, and also if you t- said you'd grab the dirty laundry, that would really bother me. But to, <laughs> yep. to I. Packing for overseas, I really, or wherever you're going, I just don't really care for it too much. Whenever okay. there's been luggage lost, you know, you get to there and they go, a bag's been, hasn't made it on board. The amount that I plead that it's Beck's and not mine, uh, uh, that it's, sorry, that it's mine that's lost and not Beck's. No, I because, don't. Because we don't care. Oh, I yeah. don't care. I mean, I'm with the same pair of board shots the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, Good thank one. you though, Ellie. Tabitha, mm-hmm. I feel like we can round this out f- to score another goal here mm. for the Yanoyas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Ahoy. 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 Ahoy, boy. So I have two parts to mine. On my work laptop, I don't save any files into designated folders. I so that. I have about 4,000 documents <laughs> just sitting in my downloads. I You'll find them. So when I need to find something, mm. I just use various search terms until I can find that yeah. document. So the system works. Do you know, um, Tabitha, that my downloads folder is empty? <laughs> of course. <laughs> what a maniac. I think Andy's a serial killer. <laughs> 
It's what used, do you mean it's empty? It's placed somewhere, it's used, and then deleted. That's where yeah. everything lives in mine. <laughs> well, yeah. That, you, you look at all this extra work you're creating for yourself, Ando. <laughs> Go in the folder, move it out, delete. Whereas me and Tabitha was like, yeah, we know where it is. It's in the downloads folder. That's the bucket where it lives. <laughs> Did you say there was another aspect to this, Tabitha? <laughs> so, yes, to make that worse, I often won't rename my new Word docs when they auto save. So I'm currently about to start working on document 87. <laughs> <laughs> and if you say you had to, had to get something, say someone was like, hey, we need those figures from June. Yeah. Does your brain go, I think that was about document 70? And yeah. you go back and, and find. I'll search keywords. <laughs> yeah. Awful, awful. No, not really, Ando. Actually, the smartness here is utilizing the search function. And that has got a lot better. <laughs> Like computers these days, the search is very good. I don't know if it's AI or machine learning or whatever it is, but Gives me utilize hearts. that. No. Use the search. Do the work for you. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. you are a tough man to please. Therefore, <laughs> therefore <laughs> an easy man to upset. <laughs> Hit it, Jack. <laughs> I'm not a tough man to please. Everything is neat and practical. Because yeah. that's the way he likes it. <laughs> but what if it wasn't? <laughs> upset Andy. <laughs> And a fresh list. We I, every time I every time we get him in because we really don't ever repeat an upset Andy. No, which I'm surprised. They keep pouring in. I feel in. like they'd be running out by now. They keep pouring when in. They land on my, uh, to be honest, when they ran on my side of the fence, I apologise to people because I, as soon as I, because the people who are upset and I just delete them, delete them straight away. Yeah. So there is don't want to be upset. 50% of them are probably right. So there you go. not making it through, which I apologise to those. That That's crew. good. We're not overfishing it. Yeah. Um, Yep. So many great Putting ones. Putting them coming. back in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, if, you've, if, you've, if you haven't heard from us and you really thought it was a cracker, yeah. go again. Go again. You might have got Andy's side. Yeah, try and jump back in the boat. <laughs> Sebastian. Um, yeah. Sebastian joins us. Sebastian, you got something to upset Andy? Yeah. Ahoy, gentlemen. Ahoy, man. Uh, when I go into the supermarket and it's time for me to crack out my uh, rewards card, instead of going to the nice, simple app that's on the phone there, I go into my girlfriend's messages, go through into the photos section, scroll all the way down to the screenshot she sent me of the barcode from about three years ago. So sometimes one big scroll gets me all the way there and other times it's a couple small scrolls and I might land on it. I do this a lot. I do this with a Medicare card. I know so, my wife has sent it to me. So, so, yeah, but you can go just to media. You don't have to scroll. You can just tap oh. on and then media. Oh, and that's who's got time to go to media. But so, rewards card, rewards card roulette. Like you got to have some fun while the lady asks you for your rewards card. Yeah, I mean it's not. I'm not. It's not terrible because I take photos of all those things and have it in. You'd save them. In photos in a favourites, like, oh, there we go. yeah, like, a, <laughs> yeah, I can't see you going back through all your selfies with Beck no, to try and find the, that would, that the would vet's have, discount card or whatever. That would annoy me. Um, but it's not red hot for me. Okay, so that a medium. Thank yeah, you, Sebastian. Thank you. That's thank all right. Thank Kay, Kay, have you got something to upset Andy? <laughs> Hi. Hmm. Yes, I do. Okay, um, so okay. my mum sent me a photo um, of something that my stepdad did. Um, so day one was just, the six pack of yogurts in the fridge, and one of them was open and empty. He didn't um, want, but he hadn't unsnapped it. But yeah, it was still attached. Hang on, um, he'd eaten one attached <laughs> to the six pack. I've done that before. I think it's just yeah. he's standing at the fridge. He was, wants a fridge snack. <laughs> that is awful. That's that's peri peri hot as a bad one for me. So instead Hang of on. snapping off the singular one, he'll just yep. peel back one lid. Eat it, still attached, with with five other ones hanging off it. You did say, Kay, it was day one. What did you do on day yeah. two? The day two, she sent me the photo and it was the two empties still attached to the six. It's gathering mould. Um, and- do you ever scoop anything out of the jar and eat it? As a straight off in like a, 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 a little a, treat for Andy? No. Nutella or a bit of peanut butter? Mm, I used to do it with Milo. Dip it. Finger in, lick a finger. You never do a finger in, no, no, because you don't. People don't want your fingers in their food. They'll never know. (laughs) (laughs) You're in the house together. Uh, Okay, thank you for that. That is awful, Penelope. (laughs) Penelope, what have you got? Um, so in my kitchen on the counter, we have like a notebook for writing shopping lists and stuff, and Mm -hmm. then a cup full of pens next to it. Mm -hmm. If anyone in my family discovers that one of the pens doesn't work, like it's out of ink or something, 
instead of throwing it in the bin, we'll just put it back into the car. I hate that. <laughs> And so at this point, it takes like four or five tries to get a pen that works because yep. we've been doing it for years. Oh, yeah. Like only a couple of them work yeah. in a whole cup full of pens. Awful. Yeah, awful. And Do you I throw don't pens out? To to the bin. Absolutely throw a pen out. This is exactly what Beck would do. Beck would uh, totally just leave it there. Yeah. And she just wonders why. Because sometimes you go, oh, it might be a bad day. The ink might be feeling not up to it today, but sometimes exactly. pens. Exactly, you've got to give it a chance. Sometimes yeah. pens come back to no. life. You do You do one lick on the on the nib and give it a scribble and it's not coming from there, you throw it out. It's rough. You can tell. That but, is, yeah, that's awful, Penelope. I hate half that. Half life. <laughs> Christina, Christina, what have you got to upset, Andy? Ahoy, boys. Ahoy. Okay, so in the laundry room, we had the carton of washing powder on the top shelf, mm -hmm. and next to it was a carton of bird seed. So normally I just grab a carton and free pour it straight into the machine, as yep. you do. Mm -hmm. But a few times I'd do this without realising I'd grab the bird seed. <laughs> I'd be staring in the washing machine thinking, oh, no, what are we going to do here sort of thing? But then was like, oh, well, that's definitely not a problem for right now. Close the lid, hit start, and go about my day. Hang on, wash you it wash, with birdseed? You seed. wash with birdseed. 100%. It's the water that does most of the cleaning anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you... Like an exfoliation for the <laughs> pants. You're not even liking this. I, I would have thought you'd then, you. I would, my next move would be, I'd understand you'd be like, oh, well, boxes are boxes. But I do know there's a difference between soap powder and birdseed. I would put in more than I would normally put in of the powder on top of the birdseed and give it a birdseed and detergent wash. No, sir. Got a bit on. No time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Stop I faster and loosen it, Amy. I understand. You've got a busy day. We've all got stuff to do. I'll let you go, Christine. Let you get back to your jobs. Michael. Michael. Um, upset, Andy. <laughs> G'day, chaps. Um, so, too fast. My fiance and I like a healthy variety of breakfast cereals. Nice. Uh, but those boxes are mostly filled with air and take up lots of space. Mm -hmm. So we just bin the boxes and throw each of the bags on a shelf in the pantry. Mm. Oh, and then, a thrown uh, bag. A thrown bag is already scr <laughs> only scrunching his face up at a thrown bag. No. He was with you for binning the boxes, mm. but then the next bit he wanted to hear, I'm guessing, was put it in a sealed Tupperware container. Yeah, cereal ones. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, no no, no containers here. That um, comes with a container, and it comes with a bag. What is strange about this is I love the fact that it's saving space in the cupboard. Mm. I don't like that you can't readily identify <laughs> oh, they can't. what what cereal no, it is. There. Just misty bags. Mm. How do you identify <laughs> cereal? Oh, you just go hunting and see what you grab for that day. That's disappointing. Do you look in the top hole to to see what's in there? Oh, so yeah, top hole. Well, sometimes if I grab the bag out, there's already a hole on the side. So that's no good. I like yeah, the top hole. So I open the flaps on the corner, and sometimes I'll. Pour it out, and you've got two holes of cereal going the, out into the bowl. Where the other hole come from? Oh, uh, if my fiance jumps in and like pokes a hole on the side, and she rips <laughs> it open because she can't be bothered to do the top. That, that. She's very fuzzy. <laughs> she can't be bothered to do the top flaps on the bag. Can't be bothered. And then I jump in. I see the uh, the closed tops. I'm like, well, this isn't open. So go and open it, and suddenly I've got cereal on the floor. You got a double yeah. holer. I hate all that. <laughs> <laughs> and I can just see Andy in pure disbelief here mm. going, mm. you go to the supermarket, mm. you bought the cereal, you bring mm. it home, you've done everything right, mm. then you get home, you're double holding the bag, you're throwing out the box, you're pouring it all over the floor. You were so close. Yeah, Michael, at our place. Oh, yeah, here we go. The flour comes out, obviously, and it can be poured into a Tupperware thing for extra, for so you can seal it again. Yeah. And then I'll cut out... Oh, yeah, the I've box. Seen this. I've seen this in my house. This is so bad. This is so bad. So it's the so you have like the title card, yeah. and then you slide that in the container, so you know exactly what flour it is or sugar or whatever. Yeah, I've seen that, Mike. But that's that's so many uh, different cereals and stuff. Like you, you can't have your variety. You know? He wouldn't do it for cereal, and he would trust himself to identify Sultana brand mm. over Sustain. Mm. But yes, I've seen him do it, and for pastas too. Mm. For other yep, for other things that are sealed. Mm. He will get the scissors, get all the effort of cutting out like the doesn't, panel. Doesn't take long. Just a little panel <sighs> to say. I don't. I honestly don't know how you have time to come in here <laughs> with all the extra stuff that you do. Like, thanks, Mark. And uh, mm -hmm. of course, Pleasure Fest is coming up towards the end of the year, yes. where we will have as many as ten. It looks like. No, <laughs> really? Yeah, or possibly eleven pleasurers, yeah. uh, all. <laughs> 
all manning their own stall like a science fair yeah. um, to pleasure you. Uh, the opposite of what we're about to do. Yeah. Uh, I thought just before we we coax you into a state of maximum pleasure <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. um, by showing you things that are ex- excellent examples of neatness, practicality, yep. efficiency, mm-hmm. good ways of doing things. Yes. Uh, before we get you into that heady state, almost a trance-like state, we should um, grind you down and uh, <laughs> displeasure you or upset you first. <laughs> Everything is neat and practical. Cause that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. Safe to say, Ando, that the, mm. the, we get a flood of upset Andys. More yep. so, it was quite tough to squeeze pleasure Andys out of the, um, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the fruit tree of the listeners. People but certainly to upset me. Yeah. Yep. It's like the upset, the upset Andy tree is like one of those, you know, some, like a, my grandma had a lemon tree. You just could not stop growing lemons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the every, like, every time you were there, it was just a carpet of like rotting lemons around the bottom, hitting you on the, you hit the cricket ball into the tree, a hundred lemons would fall. <laughs> and that's really what upset Andy is. Mm-hmm. Lots of, lots of things out there that could potentially upset you. You could just rock the, um, the efficiencies with which you like yes. to run the world. Mm-hmm. Bruce. To kick things off, ahoy, Bruce. What upsets Andy? Ahoy, boys. Uh, interesting one for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so I swung past my parents' place the other day. It's in a suburb of Adelaide. Houses are typically close. Uh, Mum is home, makes me some lunch, happy days. Um, doorbell rings and she doesn't budge. And I ask her if she's going to answer it. She says, no, nah, it's Nova's doorbell. I'm thinking it was loud enough, front door was closed, and there was no way it was another house. I said, what do you mean? It was your chimer. She said, no, nah, it chimes, but it's a neighbour's house. I said, and the doorbell rings again, and this time I've gone, no way, there's definitely someone at the front door. So I opened the front door, and sure enough, no one there. I've gone back to mum for an explanation, and she explains that the neighbour's doorbell is on the same frequency but plays a different chime <laughs> on her system. <laughs> and that's how she knows it's the neighbour's door. <laughs> Yeah, well, if it's so, a different noise, no, no need to change it. That That's is, right. <laughs> so, I would yeah. be infuriated by that. <laughs> so I've got Why no idea. I've got, I've, I've got no idea if, an ex, if it's an expensive system or a cheap knockoff, but yeah. it's got to be a quick fix, like a Phillips head screwdriver at most. Oh, so I asked mum how long it's been off. doing that for. Mm-hmm. I ask her how long it's been going on for. She says. Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 I think about all the time she would have had to waste getting the Phillips. And you said you think it's a Phillips head, so it could have been the other time. <laughs> so yeah. then you're going to get the screwdrivers out. You're matching the screwdrivers. Oh man, no one's done. Perry, Perry Perry hot that one for me. That would be so <laughs> annoying. Thank you yeah. so much, Bruce. Elise, oh, Elise, uh, thank you, Bruce. Elise, can you upset Andy for us? Hi, boys. I'm really sorry in advance for this, Andy, but I think I'm about to upset you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm outing my husband. I really need you to back me up here. I'll set the scene. I'm in the car with him, and he decided to have some chewing gum, and he got it out of the container, which, you know, must be pretty nice, not having to pack it. (laughs) Yeah, quite a lot of pellets in the container. (laughs) Gee, gee, upwards of 50. (laughs) Wow. A a lot of pellets. And so when he was finished, he did not dispose of his gum like a normal person. Instead, he picked up the very same container that he got the gum from, and he spat it back in the same container with Mm. all the fresh ones. (laughs) <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> I don't think, I mean, those are just not an upset Andy. I don't think anyone mm. wants that tough happening. To, tough to find the positives to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, is, that is piggery. Uh, it, well, it, well, it, gets, it gets worse, though. It can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so he sent me a picture of one this week. It was a picture of the container with, a like, the bottom of the container of the outside with some chewing gum stuck to it. It didn't even make it back in the container. That's just, I'm traumatised. So he's just left it on the side. Yeah. It Look, if right. he had a separate, con- like once he finishes one pellet one and had a separate one, I'd actually really like that. So the, in mm. essence, it's, it's an... You can't ex- fix him though, Andy. You don't, don't try, he, this is not what he's doing. I know what you're saying. Yeah, you, you would, have, you'd appreciate him to have a spittoon or something. And, and, <laughs> yes. and he's, and he's got I'll a, take a any brother. i suggestion. Mm, he's used a Phillips brother P-Touch to label it, you know, ex, you know, used gum yeah, or, like that, yeah. um, you know, gum <laughs> container or mm. something that you'd really like that. Yeah. But no, he's just mixing it all in together. That's I mean, so... he's getting a second use out of it, you would assume eventually. Oh. 
hope not. I hope not. Elise, um, <sighs> disgusting. Certainly a peri peri hot again <laughs> on the yep. on the upset, Andy. Thanks Good luck. very much. Um, all right, Mike. Um, can you upset Andy um, not just by listing something that's feral? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah. Oh wait, Mike. I think I can. Okay, Mike. So I've bought a filing cabinet secondhand off Marketplace. Okay, great. And I, I put it in my business and I need to organise everything. The lady who sold it to me said, you can keep all of the folders that are already inside the drawer. So, and they're all labelled. That's handy. It is very handy. Um, but what I did when it came to filing time, I didn't have time. So the labels that she has in there, for example, Westpac, um, she's got an address there that's her previous home, obviously. Her name was Tracy, so she's got one labelled Tracy. I just put my files corresponding to the same category <laughs> into those same folders and didn't change the label. Yeah, yeah, it's like your own little code. Yeah, That's that. good. That's very clever. So what have you got under my, Tracy? Yeah, what's under Tracy and Westpac? <laughs> Anything to do with my wife, whose name is Kate, goes under Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Westpac, I'm, I'm with Combank, so that Same. all goes in there. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like learning another language, you know. You life. can you can just you realise you can actually just slide out the piece of paper and turn oh, it, oh, turn it, it, it turn nice around all the time in the well, window. No, these slide are actually out. stickers. She's she stickers. was so organised. She's put That's stickers, horrible. printed little label stickers, mm. which means I'd have to go and peel them off and then go and buy the inserts and. Print them myself. Oh my so god! Kept no. it relevant. Yeah, absolutely. You got a business run. You don't have time I for that. It. I hate it, Mike. You've <laughs> outshot <Mike. laughs> Thank you, so Lana. Much. Lana, uh, ahoy, Lana. You got something to upset Andy? Yeah. So I use my notes up a lot, but I don't create a new note for each new topic. I'll just add to an existing one that I've already got going. Oh, is this so on this Apple? Point, is this on your iPhone? Yeah. I, this I've got a mate that does this. Andy, you know, John does this. He has. He doesn't have the notes app. He has the note app. <laughs> It's literally one note and he scrolls to the end. Is this what you have to do, Lonnie? You have to scroll to the end or then scroll yeah, back yeah. into it to be like, yeah, I think I've yeah. got the flight number. And you have to scroll yeah, back you like just, two you pages. scroll so it feels right. Lana, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, oh. Hang up on her, Jack. Uh. Mate, you should see John's. It is like eight years worth of note. <laughs> It's phenomenal. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> it's like secure information, mm. addresses. No. Just random thoughts. No. It's quite the document. Yeah. No. And when I explained me. it to him that you could have different different sections, he, yeah, he just wasn't. Because you can lock you can lock segments as well. You can have different notes that you're he's, locked. He's not doing it for any other reason than just he's got to have it and he's, he's sticking with it. Uh, Dean, here we go. Time on. Dean, have you got something to upset Andy? Yeah. Ho- hoi, boys. How are you? Ahoy, mate. Very good, mate. Um, so a mate of mine decided he wanted to put dimmable lights in his living room yep. and the electrician specifically told him, make sure you get the globes that are compatible with dimming. Yep, I'm familiar right. with this. <laughs> he didn't take that advice, saved a few dollars and just got ordinary globes. Mm. And now whenever you turn the light on, the bulbs just dim and brighten constantly on their own. Yeah, but they're, just doing their just own. Change- <laughs> they're just doing their own thing. <laughs> yep, but instead of just changing the globes, he reckons they're all right and he's waiting until they blow and it's been over a year now. <laughs> He's, he's they, in a game of they, chicken with his light globes. So they flicker, wouldn't they? I, I've had this before. They flicker and they also dim, like this, oh. this erratic with their on and off. Yeah, he doesn't really have any settings. If you put it up high, it goes from high to medium, maybe mm-hmm. sometimes low. Um, yep. Get us over for a games night and it was shocking. Your eyes just couldn't like it. <laughs> how's, the, how's the dramatic effect, though, for the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dean, I hate it. I'd be changing it over because I've happened to me. I'd be changing it immediately, but thank you. Uh, Solid clean, round. Clean sweep of upset. <laughs> yeah, an absolute, an absolute scorcher through there. Andy, today, after months of, let's face it, improbable organisation by me. Can't believe it. A magical event was held here at the rooftop of the podcasting studios. It's fantastic. It's an exhibition. It was a convention. It was not time to upset Andy. In fact, no. it was the exact opposite. We wanted to please him mm. as I organised many, many people to come in from around Australia to showcase their skills or abilities that would please Andy. With efficiency. With efficiency, mm. accuracy, yes. new ways of doing things. I mean, you're going to get settle in yeah. because it was a heck of a morning this morning. We give you the results and the full run-through of 2022's Pleasure Andy Fest. Everything is neat and practical because that's the way he likes it. But what if it continued to be even more? That's right. It's time to please Andy. 
After more than five years, trying to upset Andy. That would absolutely upset me. It's stupid. It annoys the hell of me. This gives me the irrits. No, I hate that. No thanks. No, just disgust me. It's getting worse. Andy's left. I hate that. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> the moment has arrived to tidy up the drawers. Wow. Perfectly align the pictures. Oh, yes. And categorise the pantry. This is great. Yes. It's time to please Andy. Oh, I love it. Organised, regimented pleasure artists have flown in from around the country. And we all know they left for the airport with plenty of time to spare. Live from a quiet, orderly rooftop where everyone's accreditation has been checked and the running order will be stuck to... Welcome to... Pleasure Fest. Andy, mm. we're on the stairs heading up to the rooftop. How long does the exhibition go for? Uh, it should, we should be in and out in under 20 minutes. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like an efficient, <laughs> an efficient pleasuring. Yes. Please have a look at this <laughs> deluxe signage. <laughs> Lovely signage. Welcome to Andy Lee's Pleasure Fest Thank 2022, you. which does have the air that it could become an annual event. Yes. A you great pop up banner. A the... lanyard. Thank you. Which we know was not cheap. Yes. But official... Uh oh Well, you have an official pleasure or lanyard. I suppose you're a pleasure -y. Yeah, can I have... Is there, is there not one specifically? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Off to a bad start. <laughs> so I've got a lanyard that's meant for the pleasurers. Just enjoy their souvenir. Okay. It does say Andy on it. Mm -hmm. And it has been laminated, and I think you'll find the hole punched above the Andy. What's that? <laughs> I guess it's a tiny bit of... Why is yours clean and I've got a bit of... A, a oh, it's a yellow, tiny piece of yellow or something. Yellow mark. It's laminated in there. It's laminated. <laughs> You've laminated. It might have a been a slight inconsistency with the paper. That shouldn't have been. This is a bad start. Okay, okay. let's try and get things back on, <laughs> back on track. Okay, it's okay. an incredibly labelled <laughs> lanyard yeah. and a very small yellow mark. Hmm. Here is your pleasuring horn. Okay. Okay. Every time today mm -hmm. that you are pleased yes. uh, from one of the pleasurers, yep. honk this horn. Okay. I think today will be a success if we can get a crisp dozen pleasures. Really? Is there 12? There's not 12, but I think hopefully yeah. several things please you okay. at once. So yeah. be honest with the horn. I know yeah. you're obviously not going to give them away for free, <laughs> but I would love to hear 12. First things first, yeah. toasted cheese sandwich, Looks cheese cold. and tomato. No. Hold the tomato. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Looks cold. It does look cold. No good. <laughs> <laughs> not my fault. Looking across at Carly, but yeah, okay. I won't eat that. Not the best start, but I knew I could get us back on track with a very visually pleasing scorecard from Andy's favourite pastime, the game of golf. How many holes in a standard golf game? 18. 18. And you have a little scorecard, don't you? Yeah. Randomly, there's par threes, par fours, par yes. fives. The scorecard might read, you know, five, six, mm. four... Three. Yes. Well done. You know, lots yeah. of different numbers and you add them up at the end. Yes. Have you ever seen a golf card, official golf card, mm. where every hole was a four? No, that's awesome. Look how fast he honked. Look how fast he honked. Right. And it's from 1936. Amazing. I love it. You can keep that. Thank you. <laughs> it was time to enter the Pleasure Dome. I don't think we ever called it that. Where pleasure artists were manning trestle tables at either end of the pleasure dome, ready to please Andy live. First up was Boaz with a shortcut to shoelace tying. This is the quickest and most effective way to do it. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. Wow. That is fantastic. Yeah, thank you. I mean, can you do that again yeah, slowly? Exactly. It looks so like, what, a, what looks like a magic trick. What are you doing there? So I've got one lace in one hand, the other lace in the other. Yeah. A quick loop, grab and pull. Oh, wow. My eyes couldn't even tell what was going on and I'm here. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Thanks for pleasing Andy. You're welcome. Uh, Andy, we have another shoelace base at the same stall. Great, um, great. Hi there, I'm Andy. Uh, Jack. This is Jack. Jack. Do you have a different slightly laces different. trick? Yeah, yeah I, just, I just had a look slightly different. So uh, I'll just I'll show you here as well. Okay. So this looks like this. Yeah. Oh, Jack has put... Gee, that's good as well. Yeah. How is that different? Okay, I'll show you. See the kind of reversed dangling bits there? Yeah. You're basically going to cross them over, grab them, 
porn for Oh, them. yes. Yeah. Are you really halving... Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what we're here. You're really halving the time you would spend time the shoelace, Absolutely. aren't Absolutely, and that's you, where it came from. Would that's you say from. yours is quicker than Boaz? I mean... I mean, I saw some laces happening there. Yeah. I think that, yeah, maybe a little bit quicker. Definitely smoother. Yeah. <laughs> Fast and smooth. <laughs> off to a honking good start now. And school librarian Meredith was next showing off her abilities in contacting a book. Something my dad would be very impressed by too. And right away, she was pleasing Andy. We measure the spine to make sure that it's going to align correctly. And then... This is something interesting. With a very firm fold. Love it. I've never seen this done before. Sorry, it's quite hard to explain, but I've never seen it done before where you've, you're allowing and you've created a fold. Look how excited Andy is. <laughs> Sorry, it, 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 keep it together. <laughs> that, will, that will fit a front cover but allow enough space for the spine. So that it's is, equal. Which is something I haven't seen before. What I am interested this? in to see, I mean, I'm going to give you one for that. But it's, I'm interested to see how she cuts the contact once it's stuck. That's, that's Absolutely. It. You're not out of the woods yet, Meredith, but you've got a very pleased boy yeah. in your hands. But it was Meredith's attention to detail on the corners, in contrast to Andy's own method, that really impressed him. OK. OK. Some people go... <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, a perfect triangle across. You want to know why the angular cut? Yeah, so why what? Why the angular cut? Well, you'll see once I fold it in that it presents a really nice cohesive look okay. to the inside of the cover. Okay. Because pleasing to the eye. Pleasing to the eye mm-hmm. once you open the book as well. It's not just about what's on the outside, it's on the inside, inside cover as well. Yeah. It's very Often important. On the inside of One of the key messages about books, you don't judge them. <laughs> they're covered, the cover. exactly. Oh, it's great. It's great. And I do like the look on the inside. <laughs> He's absolutely spraying honks all over the place. Wow, well done. Very pleasing. I'm, I'm worried to, to squeeze twice, but I'm very oh. impressed. A new method. And I hope you can take it back to Marg and Mike and let them know, mm. not as any sort of competition, but just a friend sharing to other contacting friends. That's, we call that open source IP, that, and that's nice. That's, that's lovely. really nice. I'm more likely to tell Dad that he's he's not the best and he's been doing it wrong for so long. It's up to you what you do with the information. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Olivia showed off a super space minimalising system to fold cardboard boxes in on themselves to maximise recycling bin utilisation. Oh, I loved it. I think it's worth noting here, Olivia, that Andy prides himself on being a very efficient folder of cardboard. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he'll be keeping a key eye would, here. I, would, I haven't seen anything new yet. I would normally do this as well. The Nutrigrain box, everything's undone. Everything's undone. Oh, here we go. Now <laughs> you're folding it outwards. <laughs> this is interesting. This is very new. You're creating a new crease on the outs, the long side. Yeah. Of an unexpected turn. Okay. Yeah. So a new crease comes down the, sh- the the smaller sides of a box. Yeah, the long side. I guess yeah. where the ingredients usually are. That, yes. The nutritional information. Yes. That's right. And Hang on you. a sec. What the heck is this? Fold it up, flip it over. Okay. What are wow. you doing? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're making a paper airplane now out of the flat box. That's right. You ain't never seen a box folded, folded. like this, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And then the yeah. trick is to fold it back over itself. Hang okay. on a sec. I think I know what's going to happen here. It's Take going to it self-fasten. It's going to tuck itself. It's going gonna, it's gonna to tuck itself into itself. Oh, my God. The yeah. cardboard has tucked itself into itself. You made it have a pouch. Yes. But then it put its head into. Yes. So its own now. Pocket. And it's like, oh, look. If my girlfriend could do half of that, that would be amazing. Wow. Really. And now it That's won't a lot pop of bits, apart That's right. in the recycling. You do the work upstairs, have it all nice and tight, and then you can just take it down and throw it down in one go. That's Saves right. you time. <laughs> okay. There we go. Great work, Olivia. <laughs> Touch oh, off, yeah. baby. Woo! <laughs> Michael had been on the show before with his sticker-based ability. Michael can peel off stickers perfectly. Yes. No rips, no tears. Oh, you've got a little utensil. Oh, sorry, no, no, uh, that's just, uh, just you know, got to look after your tools of the trade. Oh, you just were getting your nails sharpened. <laughs> been sharpening as we go. Just got, got a little a, nail file up. Whetstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, okay. good tradesman looks after his tools. Okay, good. Fantastic. Well, uh, geez, that she's looking sharp, yes, that thumbnail. Yeah. Yep. First part of the technique is edge prep. 
Okay. Um, so we're going, we're going underneath, but we're going all the way around. Doing a full um, lap of the hole. Oh, full lap. You've got to watch those slips and slides. Yes. Oh, we had a slippage there. That's okay. okay. That's over the so, seam of the bottle. Um, so usually oh, wow, we go really movement, all yeah. the way around. Yep. Mm-hmm. Didn't I never actually realised there was a seam that runs oh, yeah, look at that through the middle the of the sticker on the front of a Master Foods barbecue sauce bottle. Okay, <laughs> this is the stuff you learn. This is the sport. <laughs> and I think we've gotten far enough we can... Sort of get into uh, appeal stage. Oh, I kind of call it the foreskin peel, but <laughs> okay. Um, it I does paint a picture. <laughs> can, you shouldn't can peel it uh, right off. For wow. anyone that's never used one wow. or experienced one, he's, he's got it. He's go. got it. It's a full circumcision. <laughs> A couple of rough edges there. This is not my finest work. Oh, um, it's pretty oh, good. Andy, yeah. you keep those as souvenirs. <laughs> he has been pleased. He has been pleased, Michael. Wow. I can sign it if you like. Oh, please. Can now, a... To really please Andy, can you show him the sauce bottle with no adhesive left on it? See, people, people might wonder why this skill is important. Mm-hmm. If we wanted to use this bottle for another condiment, mm-hmm. Uh, I would hate to see any remnants Because it makes you feel like a second-hand bottle. Yes. That looks like it's factory quality. That's Fact- my bottle of choice. I've got about 15 of those in the shed. We've got yep. engine oil, we've got diff oil, we've got exactly. brake fluid, we've got And if you want to, you can there. borrow my labeler and we can label them up for you. Oh. Okay, well... <laughs> I was going Nico, but labels, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's maybe talk offline about that. <laughs> great, great one, Mike. Uh, you got the horn? Thank you so you much, Please do, Andy. <laughs> got you, mate. Thank you. Harry waterproofs bathrooms for a living and he claimed to be able to membrane the tiles in the miniature bathroom model that he brought along in such a perfect way that it would please Andy. So what we'll do first up, we'll use a brush and we'll do just around the sides and all the corners and around the, the, the puddle flange here. Yep. And then we're going to grab the, um, the, the, the baby roller mm-hmm. and we're going to just do the, the longer, larger mm-hmm. section. Okay. Yeah. But as it unfolded, Andy was not totally convinced. Going around the sides here, we'll go up this corner here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then come around. I mean, that does look like something we'd be able to do there at the moment, Ham, isn't it? Okay. It's just, it's just have painting. Have faith, have faith. Okay. Come up this corner. Yep. Interesting, Andy. So you see who does around. the sides first, then the corners. Yeah. This one did go on for a while, and we know how much Andy likes efficiency. Tensions were rising. So we'll go back in here. So yep. we'll just do this last bit here, and then we'll do work on the sides. Do you think you could do better than that? I just think I could do the same. It's the kind of one... Oh, well, look at it. I mean, I'm, it's not It's not like it's... He's, he's doing the job. Like, it's not like it's a bad job. He's doing the job. He's doing it very well. Yeah. So we'll I mean, come up there. it's looking very much like I thought it would look. Okay, okay. I can't give a whole. Hang on, it's not done. <laughs> but I know exactly what it's going to look you like when don't it's done. Know exactly what it's going to look like. There might be a, there might be another part to it. Harry, is there another part to it? Uh, yes, this is where the separates okay. the layman from the professional. Okay. So we'll measure the thickness mm. and we're going to try and get about 1.5 mil here, all right? Okay. So we'll, we'll dip it down. Oh, can you see that? He's done the whole thing freestyle, Ando. And now he's measuring it. So you can see there, if you got 1.5, it just hits the 1.5, doesn't go too, doesn't go too thick, doesn't go too thin. <laughs> okay, it was, that's what it needed. I was worried for you for a second. I was a bit nervous there as well, but you know. Jeez, that was intense. In a welcome change of pace, Dan the Undie Man showed off his custom folding technique that resulted in a perfectly contained and neat bundle of underpants. Fold up and over, tucks in. Love it, right. Wow, that! Love it. Now you can fold like 30, 40 pairs at a draw. Oh, they I can will. All be colour coordinated. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This they is reminiscent apart. of the shoelaces here, Dan. Can you go again yeah, and show go us definitely. Definitely. definitely? So it looks like it's almost like a card trick. So you almost like we're so folding them in, in half. Fingers in, yeah. fingers thirds, in thirds, oh, thirds, across the hand. Thirds. Use yep. the waistband, back one through. piece of the waistband and back to inside. capture. It's yes. another self-capturing it, trick yeah, like it. the cardboard box. You can box. play cricket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Dan, uh, Dan, short, sharp, you. elite. Fantastic. My pleasure. Cheers. Well done, mate. <laughs> Enjoy that gift. <laughs> Congrats Lovely. on getting the honk. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome pace after the uh, membrane. <laughs> Riding high off Dan's jocktacular success, a new Andy loves nothing more than a Tupperware container that's the perfect size for its intended contents. Into Indy and her apprentice, Callan. So we have pre-prepared stacks here that slide in perfectly. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you've got five small Tupperware containers of yep. popcorn yep. that fit in. Now, here's the kicker. It looks like it's almost a tray that's come from the fridge. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Does the tray come with those Tupperwares? No, they don't. I found it myself. That's what he wanted to know. That's what he wanted to know. I could feel it coming because if that's made like that, who cares? You just use it for its purpose. But you made that work. Well done. Is that similar to what's happened here? Yep. Same container but different Tupperwares inside which also fit perfectly. Sourced separately. Yes. Thank you, so, thank you. What have we got here? Hang on a sec. So we've, got, we've got some rice. We have some more containers. Yes. These that all stack. We have some rice that... What are we doing here? What's going on okay. here? Opening up a fresh bag of rice, white rice, Ben's original. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Hang she's on. pouring and it into the container. You found the container that perfectly takes 500 grams of rice? Exactly. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> It's not all the way to the top, but... That's fine, because the lid's going on top. It fits the seal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've allowed for the dip of exactly. the seal. Oh, oh boy. love it. Oh, oh boy. so great. <laughs> Absolute horn fest in here. <laughs> Guys, congratulations. My favourite so far. Yes. <laughs> Nathaniel is next, and he had a bold claim about his burrito eating skills. What if I told you I knew of a man that could eat one of these without spilling a drop? Okay. Mm. It's Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I don't spill when I eat. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel, just, there's only one I'm way to do Nathaniel this. Now. Pop in. Yeah. Tuck in. All right, let's go. I'll talk to Andy over here. I'm... I know what you were thinking, and I almost didn't select him, but then I had to think about it. And look, I'll be honest, I did actually eat a burrito after I saw his submission. I don't think I ever drop anything out of my burrito. This juice is sometimes what drops out. one bite in. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I mean, we have to watch a a, a whole burrito. Should we go go back to the other one and then come back and see how he's gone? To see if he's... Yeah, sure. So we left Nathaniel to continue his burrito. We moved on to Jesse, who wanted to show off his perfectly organised Google Drive. And boy, was it impressive. Oh, this excites me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I like that you've called it the filing cabinet. Exactly. Perfectly spaced capitals on both. Yeah, <laughs> this is exactly. going to take a while. Yeah. There's going to be some honks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so okay. That's a start. <laughs> um, now, you use this. What do you store in your Google box? Basically everything. All nice. my documents and the receipts and... Yep. Yeah, everything was taken out of the filing cabinet and literally scanned right in. Scanned in, so it's a fully digital life. Wow. Love it. Yeah. Could you find a bill, like a gas bill? Bill, yep. It's under bills. Under bills. Oh, oh they're all, all categorised. Categorised. Yep. Stan, Telstra, AGL. Yep. yep. And then he's, yeah, I mean, we're seeing them all. Origin, yep, power uh, shop. Vodafone, fantastic. Wow. Tel- Tel- Telstra and Vodafone. Well, this is over time, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so what a relationship ha- with any business. Um, ha- how, how, how far back does it go? Well, I do have tax documents yep. under tax, which are grouped by year. Yep. And that goes all the way back to 2004. Love it. Love it. Best part as well is we're like, I've got all my receipts in here, so if we need to return something, yes. I can literally scan the barcode. Oh, hang on a moment. Oh, my God, stand back. Find the number. Oh! And, uh, it actually... <laughs> <laughs> Andy has gone in his pants, gone early. <laughs> this is great. So will actually find the receipt where it came from. Amazing. I'll just explain what just happened. You had a barcode, you scanned it, it brought up the number automatically, you were then able to I've search got, that sorry, particular number. got problems number. behind us, Nathaniel's laughing too much, you can't eat the burrito. <laughs> yeah. You were then able to scan that particular number and it brought up Bunnings. the Bunnings Warehouse. Really great. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm tempted to show you what I've got running, but I won't. <laughs> it's more of a one-way one sport. One sport. Uh, thank you guys so much. Congratulations, well guys. Well <laughs> yeah. done. Hard to top Jesse's Google Drive, so Nathaniel had his work cut out for him. He's on the home stretch. Look, it's super clean. You think you're not dropping. This is actually more about, I think, an incorrect perception of how neatly you eat. I mean, should we call back and see if she would have seen me eat more than others? Yeah. And just see whether... Yep. Like some flakies and... Hey, Hey, Beck. Sorry, Hamish is here as well. Hey, Beck. How are you? Hi, hey. Question for you. No right or wrong answer. Simply answer honestly. When Andy eats a burrito or a souvlaki, does he drop not one single bit? (laughs) Or is there some degree of spillage, be it rice, bean or lettuce? I actually don't think I've ever seen him drop a bit. Oh, my God. Thank you, darling. Well, I haven't seen Nathaniel do it either. (laughs) 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, darling, and I'll let you go back to your day. Appreciate it. What? Bye. So, <laughs> and Daniel's you now no, no, busily no. folding up the wrapper, hoping that that counts for something. I don't think. Daniel's going to take his socks off and <laughs> fold them up in a unique way. <laughs> Um, I appreciate you. My God, that was an out. elite eating, though. But I will not honk for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we ended on no honk. Well, yeah. I mean, but it was still a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, right. Nathaniel. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thank you. I'm going to honk. <laughs> and thus concludes Pleasure Fest <laughs> on a controversial yet understandable note. You know what is amazing mm-hmm. for me? Winning that that last little contest between you and I about whether I drop or not. Yeah, that, that was, pleased you. That pleased me so much. <laughs> 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 That's what sort of thing you was here for. So if that was your master plan. It was, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well <laughs> and my genius ways. <laughs> Excel- Thus, actually, was yes, there it. anything I won't do? <laughs> well done. Well, for once, I'm usually five steps ahead. Yeah. You just gained a step. <laughs> <laughs> Still a comfortable four in front. <laughs> What an honour to please you. <laughs> Thank you for one of the great days I've had. <laughs> I mean, all it took was Tupperware and some Google Docs, to be honest. <laughs>